Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand what is lubrication in tribology. What is lubrication? Lubrication can be defined as the application of some materials between two objects moving relative to each other to allow smooth operation as much as necessary. Why do we have to lubricate? What is its purpose? Firstly, to prevent wear and premature fatigue. Next, to enhance the favorable driving characteristics such as low noise or low friction. Next, to prevent overheatings of bearings and to prevent lubricants deterioration by radiating the generated heat to outside. And the last one, to prevent the foreign material penetration that is through rust and corrosion. Next, let us understand what is lubricant. The main purpose of a lubricant is to keep the moving surfaces apart so that friction and consequent destruction of material is minimized. How does this lubrication takes place? It takes place mainly by three mechanisms that is thick film lubrication, thin film lubrication and extreme pressure lubrication. In the first one that is the thick film lubrication, the moving surfaces are separated from each other by a thick film of the fluid so that it directs the surface to surface contact and welding of junctions rarely occurs. The lubricant film covers the irregularities of the moving surfaces and forms a thick layer between them so that there is no direct contact between the material surfaces. The second mechanism is thin film lubrication. In this type of lubrication, it is preferred where a continuous film of lubricant cannot persist. In such cases, the clearance space between the moving surfaces is lubricated by such a material which can get adsorbed on both the metallic surfaces by either physical or chemical forces. This adsorbed film helps to keep the metal surfaces away from each other at least up to the height of the peaks present on the surface. And the last and the third one is extreme pressure lubrication. When the moving surfaces are under very high pressure and a speed, a high local temperature is attained under such conditions. Liquid lubrication fails to stick and may decompose and even vaporize. To meet these extreme pressure conditions, special additives are added to mineral oils and these are called extreme pressure additives and this type of lubrication is called extreme pressure lubrication. Now let us see how the lubricants are classified into. Lubricants are classified based on their physical state. The first one is liquid lubricants or lubricating oils. The second one is semi-solid lubricants or greases and the third one is the solid lubricants. In the coming videos we will see all the classification of the lubricants in detail. Now let us understand what are the properties that a good lubricant should possess. The first one is viscosity. It is the property of a liquid by virtue of which it offers resistance to its own flow. It is one of the most important property of the lubricating oil. If the viscosity of the oil is too low, a liquid oil film cannot be maintained between two moving surfaces. On the other hand, if the viscosity of the oil is too high, excessive friction will result. Also, viscosity depends on the temperature, so viscosity of the fluids decreases with the increase in temperature. And Consequently, lubricating oil becomes thinner as the operating temperature increases. Hence, viscosity of a good lubricating oil should not change much with change in temperature. Second property is flash and fire point. Flash point is the lowest temperature at which the lubricant oil gives off enough vapors that ignite for a moment when a tiny flame is brought near it. While the fire point is the lowest temperature at which the vapors of the lubricating oil burn continuously for at least 5 seconds when a tiny flame is brought near it. A good lubricant should have flash point at least above the temperature at which it has to be used. This safeguards against the risk if fire during use of lubricant. Third property is the cloud and pore point. 
When the lubricant oil is cooled slowly, the temperature at which it becomes cloudy or hazy in appearance is called cloud point, while the temperature at which the lubricant oil ceases to flow or pour is called pour point. Cloud and pour points indicates the suitability of lubricant oil in cold conditions. Lubricant oils used in a machine working at a lower temperature should possess low pour point. Otherwise, the solidification of the lubricant oil will cause the jamming of the machine. The fourth property is aniline point. Aniline point of a lubricant oil is defined as the minimum equilibrium solution temperature for equal volumes of aniline and lubricant oil samples. It gives an indication of possible deterioration of lubricant oil in contact with rubber sealing package. The fifth property is the corrosion stability. Corrosion stability of a lubricant oil is estimated by carrying out corrosion test. A polished copper strip is placed in the lubricant oil for a specified time at a particular temperature. A good lubricating oil should not affect the corrosion strip. Finally, let us see what are additives in lubricants and what are their types. The additive content in lubricating oil ranges from just few parts per million to several percentage points and it depends on the function that these products must carry out. They may be classified as substances intended to improve the intrinsic properties of the base oils such as viscosity index modifiers and pore point improvers. Lubricant protective substances like antioxidants, substances giving new properties and protecting the metal surfaces of engines such as detergents, dispersants, friction modifiers, anti-wear, extreme pressure additives, rust and corrosion inhibitors. Thank you for watching this video and to get more updates on topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages such as Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.